If you clicked on my video, that means you must want to be a quad mommy. So today I will be showing you guys my top four quad exercises that I've been consistent with in my entire fitness journey. So if you're interested, keep on watching. But first, pre-workout. I know a lot of people like to work out fasted. Hell, I used to work out fasted. But if we're going to be performing heavy lifts or just putting our body through a lot of work, we want to make sure that we're fueling our bodies. We have to treat our bodies like cars. If your car ain't got no gas, girl, you ain't going nowhere. So make sure you're putting some type of food into your body. Now let's head to the gym. And then, before we even get into our workout, because y'all know I'm going to bring this up. I mention this in every single video because it is very important. You guys should always be stretching, warming up, doing dynamic movements. It does not matter if you're going to get ready for a compound lift, accessory movement, unilateral movement. Hell, Jack and Jill went up the hill movement. It does not matter. Make sure you're warming up your body, opening up your hips, and loosening up your joints so that way we can avoid getting injuries so that we can properly grow through this process. The first exercise that I've always been incorporating throughout my fitness journey is leg extensions. And I always love to use it mainly because it just focuses on the quads and no other muscle group is involved. Now, usually I love to do leg extensions first before any lift when it comes to working my quads because pre-exhausting your legs before you perform any compound movement will activate that muscle and it'll be more prepared for building strength and size. Next exercise I love to incorporate is any form of squat. It could be back squat, hack squat, front squat, goblet squat, but today we're gonna to be doing back squats on a Smith machine with our heels elevated. And the purpose of having our heels elevated is to increase our squat depth and to put more emphasis on our quads. Now, when your heels are elevated, also you get to activate the muscle fibers better. You increase your range of motion. I personally just feel like squats are one of the most effective exercises to building muscle size and strength. Next exercise is leg press, an exercise that I feel like everyone should add into their rotation when it comes to growing their quads. Just be mindful that there are different variations that target different muscle groups. So for you to target your quads, I would highly suggest that you have a low foot placement. Also in this exercise, I would say it's pretty easy to progressive overload. Just don't be one of those ego lifters. Be mindful of how much you're pushing. But if something begins to get too light, always up the weight. And that's how you're going to maximize muscle growth. Last but definitely not least, we have lunges. A lot of people dislike lunges. Hell, I dislike lunges. And I feel like they're so hard because we're just focusing on one leg at a time but i want you guys to have a staggered stance don't have it too wide the wider it is the more glutes you're going to target the closer it is to the working leg the more quads you're going to work and i want you guys to get your knees in a 90 degree angle drop down and then come back up and that's how you're going to work on your quads but lunges are definitely one of the best exercises into maximizing muscle size in your quads. But those are my top four quad exercises. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you comment, like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, peace.